So, we're Project FLOATS, which stands for Fun Learning Opportunities for All to Swim. I'm in Yale. I'm Desiree. I'm Chloe. I'm Ryan. I'm Michael. I'm Morgan. I'm Will. I'm Diego. And I'm Kayla. Uh, so, basically what we're trying to do is uh, increase the amount of uh, information out that is out in the public for uh, people to learn how to swim and become well versed in water safety. Uh, especially since we live in Florida, it's important to learn how to swim due to the amount of water that we're surrounded by. Um, one of the biggest populations that struggle to learn how to swim are Alice families. and uh, They usually tend not to have the amount of resources that um, higher income families have uh, to teach their kids how to swim and they become more at risk. Uh, children can drown in a multitude of areas, such as uh, pools, rivers, the ocean, but also in uh, more residential areas, including bathtubs. Uh, only about 10% of pool homes in Florida have requirements uh, for pool safety barriers, and currently our school district does not mandate swim lessons, and that's actually something that's on uh, what we're trying to do. Okay, so our underlying problem is, since Florida leads the nation in the number of child drowning, how might we increase the quantity of information on the benefits of children learning to swim so that more children will be educated in water safety in 2019 and beyond? So this is our timeline. Um, in October and September, uh, we wanted to create, we wanted to brainstorm a project uh, for ideas for our CMPS project. So we came up with, we were introduced to uh, swim lessons, project floats. And so we met with a water safety representative and we researched statistics and what drowning is, which is Florida leads the nation in drownings. And November, December, we made a water safety presentation to gain partnerships with Rotary and Water Safe Committee. And we passed out flyers during the Christmas parade and we, yeah, passed out flyers. Um, in October, uh, we uh, our timeline was to create a survey for Wadsworth students about water safety and get approval, then send it to teachers in Wadsworth. Uh, we also wanted to contact Wadsworth school principal and discuss the data for the surveys. And um, so far, we have contacted the Wadsworth school principal, but we have not sent out the survey yet. Um, we're still trying to talk to see if they'll partner with us for it. Uh, so, uh, we were trying to schedule transportation and we wanted to, uh, we wanted to get assistance from the safety patrol. Uh, we also uh, wanted to go to Wadsworth and bring the students from, uh, to the pool safely for the swimming lessons. And uh, we also attended the home show. In uh, February and March, we were hoping to start uh, attending Water Safety Wednesday at the Washington Recovery Gym. Uh, up until the end of March, and uh, on February 2nd, we set up a booth at the Washington Carpet Gym uh, with uh, Project Lead. They were holding a child fair, and we just set up a booth so we can pass out information about our group. But we were also set up next to the Water Safety Committee, and we also passed out uh, bracket cards, which explain an event that they're having out in uh, April. Um, and in April and May, we plan to participate in Otter Spotter Day provided by Josh the Otter, and partner with Tom Gillen to present at elementary schools about water safety. Okay. And so our plan of action is basically our timeline repeated. Anybody wants to explain it again? It's more so, like a bulleted. Yeah, it's paragraph. just more in-depth, written out version of our timeline. So these are some uh, statistics that we found that were relevant and important to our project. Uh, in 2014, 444 Florida residents died from drowning in total. Uh, African American children ages 5 to 19 drown in swimming pools at rates 5.5 uh, times higher than Caucasians of the same age. Uh, 351 children younger than 15 died in pools and spas in 2015. Uh, and 74% uh, of drowning incidents for children younger than 15 uh, between 2015 and 2017 occurred in residential locations. So our solution is basically to increase the number of children in Florida County so that they can swim. And our first target is the Washington Carpet area because.
because that's close to where the outlet films are that are below the top. And then this is just where we found all our information. If you have any uh, questions or comments, uh, please feel free to email us at uh, this address. Yeah, and that pretty much sums up our presentation. Thank you. Thank you.